Good evening, guys. How are you tonight? Abner, Erling, Jose Francisco, Mr. Oscar Humberto. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was how was your day? You Good have evening, problems? teacher. Good What's evening, guys. Day? I'm sorry. What was that, Erling? Oh, okay. Uh, my day my day was. Uh, very uh, heavy really because uh, I needed to, to pay a lot of invoices uh, by my job mm -hmm. oh my goodness yeah. I imagine it, it, did you have problems because of the rain yes I have a problem with that uh, because it is raining um, a lot I know. Yeah. I know, I know. So it's like raining, um, you know, it says in, in English it is an expression. When it's raining so hard, he said it's raining cats and dogs. Okay. That's the it is raining cats and dogs. Correct. That's the expression you use when it's raining a lot, right? Right. It's raining. Cats and dogs. That one. All right. So let's see. Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mauricio Antonio. Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Hello, good evening. good evening. Hey, how was your day? I was I was talking to Erlin and he was telling me that you know he had problems with the rain. Did you have problems with the rain? No, in my lo location, not. <laughs> no, it didn't rain? It's not raining? No, it's not <sighs> raining. Nice. All right. Yeah, here in San Salvador, it's raining cats and dogs. Right. Here, not. Um, it's, it's very hot. And in what city is because, that? Because not raining. Oh, really? In what city? Zacatecoluca, uh, La Paz. Oh, I see. All right, yes. It's very hot. I can imagine. Here in San Salvador, it was hot the whole day. It was super hot. Like if we were at the beach. Okay, no problem, Jose Francisco. All right, try to fix it. Tratemos de arreglarlo y si no, pues nos quedamos como oyente. No problem. All right. So we got this one. Hello, Carla, Marta. All right. David. Hello, hello. Oscar Giovanni. Hello, hello, hello. Excellent. So we're just waiting one more minute to see if more people join the class and then we can start. All right. So let's see here. We're going to see, all right, two minutes already. Let me see here. Let me start sharing my screen so we can start right now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So officially, good evening, everybody here. Thank you very much for being here on time. I really appreciate that. That's what it's at a tiempo, right? So I understand the weather. It's not the best tonight, but thank you for the effort, right? Sé que el clima no es el mejor, pero gracias por el esfuerzo. Very good. So as every day, we are going to start our class with a tongue twister. Remember, this is with the idea of you practicing. All right. So your um, you practice, sorry, your pronunciation and also intonation when you read. All right. Some words when you pronounce some specific words. Right. So let's see this one. I will be repeating a word and then you repeat it after me. And then I'm going to repeat like the whole phrase. So first word. Let's see this one. All right. All right. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, Mr. Francisco. Hello. All right. Veamos ahí unos mensajitos. Eh, Mr. Ken says present. Estaré solo un oyente. Voy de camino a casa aún. Foto de carro. Nice. All right. So very good. Andrew Pardo, voy de camino a casa. Estaré oyente. Very good. Thank you for letting me know. 
Marta, it says here, una gran tormenta. All right, very good. So no problem. Let's do this one. All right, no problem, guys. Thank you for letting me know. Gracias por hacerme saber. Let's continue with this, with this one, sorry. All right, everybody. Red, repeat it, red. This one right here. Red. Hello, hello. Red. Red. Roses. 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 Four. Four. Robbie. 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 Red. 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 All right. So it would be just like Ruby or Robbie, people. What do you think? Uh huh. Robbie. <laughs> Robbie, like with an O, like, or it would be like Ruby. What do you think? <laughs> All right. A ver, help. Ruby. Ah, you see? Ruby. Ruby. Exactly. With a U. One more time. Ruby. Ruby. All right. So, like this one. So, how do you pronounce this word right here? This one? Hello? Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. So that word here, it will be Ruby, like with that U, right? Ruby. Everybody, Ruby. Ruby. Very good. Red. Red. Rubies. Rubies. Four. Four. Rosie. Four. Rosie. Rosie. There you go. Red roses for Ruby. Okay. Red rubies for Rosie. Y ese tongue twister tenemos que pronunciarlo seguido three times. Tres veces. All right. So, red roses for Ruby. Red yeah. rubies for Rosie. Red roses for Ruby. Red rubies for Rosie. Red roses for Ruby. Yes, red rubies for Rosie. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Very good. Let's do this one. All right. Let's practice. Practice, practice, practice this one. All right. Let's see here. Volunteer, volunteer right now for practicing. Mm -hmm. Practice, practice. One more time. Remember, it's red roses for Ruby. Red rubies for Rosie. Red roses for Ruby. Red rubies for Rosie. Red roses for Ruby. Red rubies for Rosie. All right. Easy, easy. Like this one. Red roses for Ruby. Red rubies for Rosie. All right. Volunteer, volunteer. Hi. All right. Hello, William. Good evening. Good evening, right. Thank teacher. You for being the volunteer. All right. Yes. So I want to hear you trying this off. I mean, this um, tongue twister. Go ahead, please. Okay. Red rose for ruby. Red rubies for rose. Rosy. Aha. Remember, William, it's three times. Three yes. Okay. Red rose. For Ruby, red rubies for Royce. Red rose for Ruby, red rubies for Royce. All right. And we're missing one. <laughs> All right. So, or not. Yeah, right. Uh, All right. Let's do this red one. Red rose for Ruby, red rubies for Royce. Hello. Remember that the first one is red roses. Red roses. There you go. Exactly. Okay. One more time. Red rose, red rosy for ruby, red rubies for rosy, rosy. Uh huh. Now one more time. Let's be One more time. You can do it. You can okay. do it. Okay. Red rose, red rose for ruby, red rubies for rosy. Red rose for ruby, red rubies for rosy. Rosie. Rosie. <laughs> thank yes. you. Very good. But thank you. Thank you so much for trying. All right. Applause, yes. people. Very good. So yes. what about the rest? Any other volunteer? Hey, Katia, go ahead. Okay. Red Rosie for Ruby, Red Rubies for Rosie. Red Rosie for Ruby, Red Rubies for Rosie. Red Rosie for Ruby, Red Rubies for Rosie. Amazing. Super <laughs> good. Very good. Thank very you. good. Very good. Thank you, super nice fluency. That was actually very, very good. Good job. All right, any other volunteer? Uh-huh. 
Any other volunteer? Hello, hello. Ah, what happens? People, you're right, teachers. Excellent, Mr. Ordonez. All right, ando, go ahead. Ando un, po, ando un poco más de la garganta, pero lo vamos a intentar. Okay, okay, go ahead. Okay. Red, red roses for Ruby, red rubies for Rosy. Red mm -hmm. roses for Ruby, red rubies for forces. Red roses for Ruby, red rubies for forces. There you go. Remember, just like the first thing is roses. All right, red roses for Ruby, red rubies for Rosie. Try one more time. Yes, red roses for Ruby. Mm -hmm. No me da mucho la garganta. <laughs> All right, no problem. Thank you for trying. Thank you for the effort. All right. So now let's see. Uh, any other volunteer? Uh -huh. Come on, it's easy. Uh, there Abner, Erling, Carla. Uh -huh. Anybody else? Sandra? Somebody who can help me? Hello, Carlita. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Me, Cuatro veces, ¿no? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Red roses for Ruby, red rubies for Rosie. 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 All right, amazing, super good, my friend. That was super good, good, good. Nice fluency. I like it. I like it. All right. There you go, excellent. So let's see, one more, one more. Who is it? The last one, the last one, the last one. Okay, I got two, okay, no problem. So Raul first and then Erling, no problem, all right? There you go, excellent. All right, Raul, go ahead. Red rosy for Ruby, red ruby for Rosie. Red rosy for Ruby, red ruby for Rosie. Red rosy for Ruby, red ruby for Rosie. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually very good as well. Nice fluency. Um, what's the last one? Uh, Erling, right? All right, Erling, go ahead. Okay. Red roses for Ruby, red rubies for Rossi. Red Rossi is, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's try one more red, time. Red roses for Ruby, red rubies for Rossi. Red roses for Ruby, red rubies for Rossi. Red roses for Ruby. Red rubies for Rossi. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. That was better, 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 better. All right. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for participating, right? That was actually a good way to uh, start with the class so we can check it out right here. All right. So let's set this one right here. So now let me just share the new screen so you can see it right now. In uh, one second, please. Let's see here. Okay. Excellent. So, and let's see. So we can have it right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oops. There you go. Excellent. So today we are going to uh, start with a new unit, people. So we are going to be working with two different questions right here. All right. So let me just share the new screen so you can see it right now. All right. So everybody, please, let's actually check your manual so you can see exactly what I'm looking at right now so we can be working together in this one. All right, do you see the screen, people? Yes, teacher. Great, yes. excellent. Yes, well, teacher. Let's see, let's just go start right now and this is gonna be like the unit number um, three, right? So it says right here, the unit number three, which is just communication at the workplace. Repeat everybody, communication at the workplace. Communication, communication of the workplace. Of the there you go. Excellent. So in this word right here, we need to be careful with the pronunciation of the letter U here. Because we don't say communication. That would be like Spanish. We say communication, like the U. All right, everybody? Communication. Repeat it. Communication. Communication. There we go. Excellent. And also be careful with this sound right here because that sounds like one second here. That sounds like this one. Shen. All right. It sounds like that. I want to put it here so you can see it. All right. So it sounds like this one. So you said like communicate. And then you go this one right here. Shen. All right, everybody. Communication. Repeat it. 
Communication. Communication. Excellent. Thank you very yeah. much. So you were doing a very nice job on this one. And then at the workplace. All right, everybody, let's just start by defining some uh, of the words we have right here. All right. So workplace. What is workplace? Lugar de trabajo. Excellent. That's the right translation for that one. Thank you very much. Workplace, lugar de trabajo. All right. So the topic will be comunicación en el lugar de trabajo. So like, how do we communicate with our co-workers? I'm sorry. All right. And uh, let's do this one. Like, do you actually ask for help to your co-workers, people? ¿Le pides ayuda a tus uh, co-workers? Yes or no, all right? So this is actually yes. one of the first questions that we are going to be practicing today. So it says right here, do you usually, all right? Do you usually help your coworkers uh -huh, with their task, with their task? Okay, let's do this one right here. That's the first question. The first question is in the chat, so we can practice that right now. All right. So repeat it with me, everybody. Do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Repeat it. Hello. Do you usually help you your coworkers help with, your their co-workers with their tasks? Thank you to the people who help me pronounce it. All right. So let's say this one. Let's define the word tasks. What is it, people? Tareas. Tareas or deberes, right? So like this one. All right, excellent. So like the things you have to do. So for example, it says right here, let me ask this question, all right? Uh, Carla, do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Yes, I usually, ¿Cómo se dice pedir? <laughs> ask for. Ah, I usually ask for help. All right, excellent. All right, Carita, thank you very much. But then the question says, do you help your co-workers also? Uh-huh. So what's the, what's the answer, Carita? Do you usually help your co-workers? Microphone, Mark, Carlita? Yes. I usually ask for, no, sería, yes, I usually ask, ask for help mm -hmm. um, to my coworker. Okay, Carlita, that was actually a good answer, but it doesn't answer the question. Why? Because the answer you're saying is, John, usualmente, Le pido ayuda a mis compañeros de trabajo, right? That's what you're saying. And that is correct. The structure is correct. But the question says, do you usually help your coworkers? Es decir, si tú usualmente ayudas a tus coworkers. So, Carlita, now that you understood the question, tell me, do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Yes. Um, those. <laughs> yes, I all right, that's it. All right, yes, I usually help my coworkers with a task when they need help, etc. Right? Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Nancy, tell me, Nancy, do you usually help your coworkers with their tasks? Yes. Mm, I also, I help mm -hmm. to my workers. My coworkers. Oh. My coworkers. Uh -huh. <laughs> my coworkers. Yes, because my workers is como mis trabajadores, right? So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's do this one. Thank you, Nancy. Very good job. Hello, Anna. Good evening. Anna Melendez. Hello. All right. So tell me, Anna, uh, do you usually help your coworkers with their uh, task or their activities? Uh, yes, I I usually help in in the tax tax. Ah, exactly right. All right, thank you. 
Okay, let's read this example that William is sending through the chat. It says right here, I usually help my classmates by making coffee, all right? Oh, look at this one. He prepares the coffee for the rest of the team, all right? Super nice person, all right? But let me make a correction. So, William, son tus compañeros de clase o tus compañeros de trabajo? That's the question. De trabajo. Exactly, all right? So, ahí, la, the correct word would be? Co-workers. Workers. All right. The co-workers. Yes. Exactly. Right. Because if you say classmates, serían, for example, los que estamos ahorita contigo here, son sus compañeros. Right. Very good job. Excellent. But thank you for the example. It was nice. Solamente esa palabrita. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Anybody else right here? Uh, Erling, do you usually uh, help your co-workers? Yes. Uh, I help my co-workers uh, every single day. There you go, exactly, all right? So, and then remember that we can give a little bit of more information by telling how do you usually help them, right? So for example, William gave us a good example. William nos dio un muy buen ejemplo, dando solamente una pequeña eh, muestra de información más. For example, ¿qué es lo que hace para ayudarles? William dijo, I usually help my co-workers by making coffee. Yo les ayudo haciendo el café. For example, alguien puede decir, eh, how do you say, yo ayudo a mis, co a mis compañeros de trabajo sacando copias. Ha, how do you say that? In the chat, in the chat, everybody on the chat. How do you say, yo ayudo a mis, co a mis compañeros de trabajo. All right, so, sacando copias. Let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Everybody to the chat. Bring the copies. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Oh, you type it. Huh. Nancy doesn't want to type. <laughs> All right. Let's see, let's see. Oh my God, nobody. To print the copies. All right. So that will be a way to say it. All right. Just remember, Nancy, that copies in plural, it will be with I-E-S. Copies. Mm -hmm. I usually have my co-workers print the copies, printing the copies. All right, so Erling, esas copies. All right, so let's see this one. Making the copies, all right. Tenemos very, uh, three options here. Making the copies, printing the copies, and printing the copies, all right. So help print the copies. Okay, excellent. So like that one. So we, we like print, it's just what we get it from the printer, right? Sacamos copias de una impresora, or making the copies, like hacer una copia de algo ya impreso, right? So that's basically like the difference between those two. Hey, but you guys are doing good. Thank you for helping me with this one. Now we have the second question. The second question is like, for example, where is Carlita? Carlita, are you here? Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay, Carlita, do you remember the beginning of the conversation? You got confused, right? And the, and the questions, right? Now it's the question here, according to what you were telling me before. All right, so. It says right here, Carlita, uh, do you often ask co-workers to help you with your task? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you tell me the answer usually, you were giving before? Yes, I usually ask for... No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, <you laughs> <got it. laughs> All right. How do you say pedir people? Do you remember it? For. Ask for. Uh -huh. I usually um, ask for help uh, to my task. Classmates? Classmates or co-workers? Uh, no, co-workers. Yes, exactly. Remember, so those co-workers are going to see, for example, como Nancy, Erling, Anna, etc. right? So let's see this one right here. Mr. Antonio Ruano, tell me. Do you do you often ask co-workers to help you with your tasks? Yes. I usually um, work it. Mm -hmm. 
Don't worry, Mr. Rano, tell me, what are you trying to say so we can help you? ¿Qué está tratando de decir para ayudarle? Ok. Sí, ese, lo que estoy tratando de decirles es que yo les ayudo mucho, pero en, en como, como la guía para el día a día, o sea, como la visión. Mm. Que hay que hacer en el día. Como una agenda. Ah, similar, exacto. All right, excellent. So you can say, I usually help my coworkers preparing their agendas. I usually help my coworkers. All right, preparing or okay, getting their agenda. Oh, yeah. I usually help my coworkers preparing their agendas. Like this one. Can you read it, Mr. Rano? Yes? No. Can you read it in the chat? ¿Me puede leer? Eh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. I usually help my cover prepping their agenda. Agenda, remember? Agenda. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. All right, very good. Excellent, thank you. Let's see, let's let somebody else. All right. Hello, Maria, are you there? Maria, Maria. Yes or no? No, all right, no problem. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. Be careful. All right, so let's do this one. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and ask the same people again, right? Because everybody seems to have problems tonight. Um, Anna Elizabeth, hello. Surprise. All right. So let's see. Do you often ask your co workers for help or to help you? Uh, yes, I ask. Ask, ask you help. Ask, uh, your with, help? ask, ask for help uh -huh. with some cod, código, ¿cómo se dice? Codes. 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 Uh -huh. um, codes eh, con, contable, no sé. Con algún código contable. You know, um, accountability, accounting codes, códigos de contabilidad. Mm. Imagine, Anna says like, Anita, ¿cuál es el código para meter esta compra? Things like that, all right? Uh, yes. Oh yes. my goodness, no, no, no. <laughs> right? So, very good, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, okay. All right, excellent. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. So we are going to continue with the next, the next activity here, which is going to be this one that we have right here. So today's topic, people, we are going to, um, you know, talk about polite requests. That's why we have to actually focus on this one right here. So at the end of this class, people, you are going to be able to make polite requests. All right. So. And I want you to like help me with this one right here. What is polite request? Do you know it, people? Yes or no? Una respuesta amable. Mm, casi. Lo de amable nos quedamos con eso, pero lo de request, it's actually different. All right. So, any other idea? Mm -hmm. No, políticas. No, principios, algo así. Mm -mm. No. Any other idea? Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Any other idea? No? No solicitud. Thank you very much, yes. right? Aha, uh -huh, my friends, I will give you a recommendation. That's a personal recommendation. Eh, sus teléfonos, les recomiendo que los pongan en inglés. All right, so the language in English. Porque si todo este vocabulary va a también aparecer en inglés. For example, on Facebook, que automáticamente se pone en inglés cuando usted pone su teléfono en English, 
All right. Les aparecen que les han enviado una friend request. All right. ¿Qué sería una friend request? Solicitud. Solicitud de amistad. Exactly. Entonces acá no tenemos una friend request, pero tenemos una polite request. ¿Y qué dijimos que era polite? Uh -huh. Por ahí me lo dijo, creo Amable. que Erling. Ajá. Amable o cortés. Amable o cortés. Muy bien. All right. So, eh, thank you, William. So, eso es una, una solicitud, you know, de manera cortés o de manera amable en el lugar de trabajo, right? So, because remember, right, when we ask for a favor, we are not going to go like, hey, boss, I want this, right? So, if you have to say expressions like, disculpa, excuse me, right? I'm sorry, can you, etc., right? So, those are the things that we are going to learn today, all right? Well, tonight, actually. So, vamos a aprender a hacer esas frases para poder hacer una, un pedido, una solicitud de manera eh, cortés. All right, that's what we're going to be able to continue with this today. So, to do that, people, we are going to focus on the examples that we have right here. In the examples we have exactly here, can you see that? Can you see it, people? Yes? Yes. Great, excellent. Yes. There is a question that says, Could you print out the budget file? Repeat everybody. Could you print out the budget file? Repeat it. Could you print out the budget file? There you go. Excellent. Hey, I have a question for everybody here. What is the meaning of budget? This one. Podrías imprimir el archivo de presupuesto? Exactly. Thank you for the translation, Nancy. That was accurate. Correct. All right. So, eh, podrías eh, imprimir el archivo del documento. All right. Y aquí tenemos otra expression. La persona que le responde right away, Rita o Rita. All right. So, ¿qué significa right away, people? Creo que ahorita mismo, ¿no? Yes, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, like right now. Don't worry. All right. Uh, así como me dicen ustedes cada vez que pido volunteers. Yes, teacher, right away. All right, so. Uh, all right. <laughs> let's see this one right here. Um, let's see. Aquí la palabra clave es cool. ¿Qué significa? ¿Me acaban de decir ustedes? Poder, podría. Podría. Así lo vamos a dejar, como podrías. All right. So, it's a possibility here. So, podrías. All right. So, how do you say, for example, all right. How do you say, for example, eh, podrías abrir la puerta, por favor? Mm -hmm. Could you, Could you open, the door? open the door? May you open the door? Please. All right. Please. Oh, por ahí escuché un may. If it, may you open the door. You know what? The word may, it's actually correct. Y se utiliza también de la misma manera como podría. So, cool and may, in este contexto, in this context, is exactly the same. All right? So, we can say, may you open the door? Could you open the door, please? All right? How? Let's see this one. Imagine, imagine that in the office, the telephone is ringing and ringing and ringing and nobody answers the phone. All right? And I'll say, like, for example, how do you say, podrías contestar el teléfono? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you say, not... contestar el teléfono? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. You answer the telephone. Mm -hmm. May you take the call? We could be that one, take the call, or you can say, may you pick up the phone, all right? So remember that you can use the expression may, which means podría, or you can use the expression cool, which also means podría. All right, both of them are the same. So I can have, for example, may you pick up the phone? All right, or could you pick up the phone? Like that one, all right? So in pick those two, up. yes, sorry? Pick up, pick up sería tomar. 
Exactly, mm. all right? So les explico rapidito. Esa expresión de pick up, right, viene de los teléfonos viejitos, de aquellos que iban con una cuerda, you know? No sé si los conocieron ustedes, people. I don't know if you have them. All right, so, you know? Entonces, antes, all right, so ese tipo de teléfonos, ¿qué tocaba hacer con ese teléfono? So, you pick up the phone. Estaba el teléfono here. Let me see, here. And you have to pick up, es decir, recoger el teléfono. Uy, me perdí. All right, so, and you got this one right here. Hello. Entonces se quedó la expresión pick up the phone o pick up the call. All right. Yes. Great. Excellent. So let's see this one right here. All right. All right. All right. And tell me, um, let's see. How do you say, for example, um, how do you say, podrías llamar al gerente? Estamos hablando de una llamada por teléfono, all right? Podrías llamar al gerente. How do you say that? Could you call a manager? Could you call the manager? All right. Cool. ¿Cuál sería? Vamos a escribir dos ahí and you tell me the difference, right? Could you, please, could you call the manager? All right. And then you tell me this one. Could you call a manager? All right. So identify the difference and tell me if, you know, are they correct or incorrect? Oh, one, one correct and not incorrect and so on. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you say publico? Lo hacemos encuesta, a ver qué dicen. All right, so actually go with a poll. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sería con Call you call a uh, manager. Ok, vamos a, entonces, a, vamos a hacer encuesta, vaya. All right, so, let's see, let's see. Ok, um, one second here. It is loading. What happens with the poll? Hello, Paul. Hmm. All right, so let's see this one. All right, which is correct? And I'm gonna have this one right here. So we go here, this one, or we go here, this one. All right. One second, okay. There you go, the poll is there, it's a rig. We call the manager, which is correct, uh-huh. It is Republico, only two people have answered the question. Three people, three people, come on, three people, four people, four, five, five out of 20. Come on, tenemos like, los que van de oyentes pueden select the option, no problem. All right, so let's hit this one right here. All right, all right, excellent. 10 people, 10 people, 10 people, 10 people. All right, so let's hit this one. All right. <laughs> 11 people, y los demás, let's see, vamos a ver who's here. I have 20 people here, all right? So the rest, the rest, uh -huh. just by answering this one. Thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So 64% of the people said that could you call the manager? It's the correct answer. And 36% of the people All right, it's telling me that the second option, it's the correct one. But, <laughs> all right, so both are correct. No, both are correct. All right, excellent. So why is this one? Porque la primera es diciendo, puedes llamar al gerente, right, in general. So, y la segunda, eh, you know, we cover the year, puedes llamar a un gerente, suponiendo que hay more than one, so we can call one of them. All right, so understand? Yes. So, both are okay. Yes. Solo depende del context que le quiera ayudar ahí. Thank you a los que participaron. Thank you very much. All right, so let's see this one right here. 
And so we got this one, people. Cuando hemos utilizado hasta ahorita cool y hemos utilizado may. All right. So, y ambas significan. Uh -huh. Podrías. Exactly. Very Podría. good. Job. All right. Exactly. Exactly. All right. And then we are going to go with the next uh, option here, which is this one we have right here. Take a look at this example we have here. It says, Will you mind? Everybody, ajá, vamos a ver si se acuerdan cómo se pronuncia wood el de ayer de trabalengua, el que era madera. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. Wood. Wood, all right. Era como una U larga, right? Wood. Wood. All right, very good, excellent. So, Will you mind? Everybody, will you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Exactly, right? So, in, what is the meaning of would you mind? Uh -huh. It's like this. All right. Yes. So, you say it like that one. For example, Eh, ahí dice en ese example that we have in front right now it says will you mind opening the window all right so repeat it everybody would you mind opening the window thank you very much excellent and i have a question for you how do you translate this into spanish mm -hmm. podrías okay. abrir la ventana very good, excellent. So you just have to pay attention to something here, super important. And it's to the grammar structure, all right? El verbo va a ir, en este caso, cuando utilicemos la expresión, would you mind the verb? It's going to be um, with ing. Understand? So, for example, veamos. How do you say, eh, te importaría ayudarme con el reporte? How would you say that in English? Te importaría ayudarme con el reporte. Would you mind helping with the report? Would you mind helping me with the report? That is correct, all right? Can somebody write it? I mean, can somebody type it on the chat? To see the structure on the chat of the chat? Would you mind helping me with the report? It says. Mm -hmm. In the chat, on the chat. Just one person, please, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Está Carla, dice, would you mind? Ahí dice, would you, ajá, ese mind, ese mind de mío, Carla. <laughs> right, so. Be careful with that one, all right? And Elizabeth says, would you mind helping me? All right, the report. Ahí no hizo falta algo, Anita. What is it? ¿Qué será? ¿Qué será? Maria, he says, hello, Maria. Would you mind helping me with the report? There you go. No, Anita, lo que hacía falta era with, con. All right, so exactly, very good job. Thank you, Maria, that's the correct answer. Ya ven la importancia de escribir la respuesta en el chat, así pudo ver ustedes la estructura que están usando. Super good, all right, super, super good. Thank you. And then, tenemos otro example here, de respuesta, right? Which is this one we have right here. Sure, no problem, repeat it. Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. Sure. All right, exactly, right? And how do you say that in Spanish? Claro, no hay problema. There you go, exactly, claro, no hay problema. Hey, Sandra, it says here, would you mind help me with the report? Chicos, vieron el, exam el último example here de Sandrita? All right, le hace falta algo. ¿Qué sería, people? She's missing something. What is it? Hmm? Let's help Sandrita. Ayudémosle a Sandrita. What is it? Helping. The ing in the verb help. Tendría que ser ahí. Would you mind helping me with ing? All right. Thank you, Mr. Ruano. Eh, cuidado ahí con cómo se escribe mind. All right. So hay una además ahí. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps> Coca-Cola people. I saw Coca-Cola there. All right. So good. No problem. Would you mind helping me with the report? Yes, yeah, Sandra. Super nice. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So let's see. All right. This one. So questions about those two people? Now I have a question for you. How do you say in English? ¿Les importaría responder la pregunta? <laughs> All right. How do you say that? ¿Les importaría responder la pregunta? Would mm. you mind uh -huh. answering the question? That is correct. Absolutely right. That is right, right, right. Would you mind answering the question? All right. Vamos a ver ahora. Who can type it on the chat? On the chat. Right. Would you mind answering the question? Vamos a revisar esa. All right. There you go. Let's see this one. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Would you mind answering the question, Anne Elizabeth? Very good. Bye. Mm -hmm. Punto menos para todos, porque están mandándome una question sin signo de interrogación. All right. So let's see this one right here. Please, please, please. Aquí está el question mark. All right. Ahí está. Me lo diría. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Very good. Very good. So, pilas people, a veces un question mark, una letrita o una mayúscula, cuando corresponde, right? Puede hacer que en un examen nos haga que la pregunta, la respuesta esté mala. So, pilas con eso. By the way, ya está el examen, digo yo, right? So, let's check it out. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, excellent. So, questions before I move? No? No questions? No. No questions? All right, so. No, all right. Okay, yo lo escribí. Would you mind answering a question? Y todos lo escribieron the question. ¿Te importaría responder una pregunta? Mm. All right, como y el otro caso anterior, remember? La pregunta sería con el de. Exactly, the question, la pregunta. A question, una pregunta. All right, so yes. Mm. Now I have some questions for you. Como ustedes no tienen questions para mí, yo tengo questions for you. Potrias. Mm. Ah. What are questions there, people? From in from Spanish to English. Ahí en el chat las mandan. All right. Hasta que ya tengan las cuatro traducidas, las mandan todas de un solo. All right. So you have this one. En lo que ustedes hacen eso, I'm going to check attendance. All right. Let me just open the file here. So it says right here. Let me see, let me see. Okay, here it is. Would you mind? Hmm, Anna Elizabeth, are you sure? Ese del boss, ¿qué sería? Uh, ah, de llevar, llevar, llevar. All right, el verbo llevar. Y remember, el mind solamente es cuando decimos te importaría, right? Así que si se podría, no llama mind. Very good.
Okay, check in attendance. Apner Molina. Hello, Apner. Yes, he's here, but maybe not able to answer. No problem. Let's see this one. Alexa Marcela Cibrián. No, no. Yes, it's there. All right, excellent. So, uh, Anne Elizabeth Melendez, yes, participate. Thank you. Ana Luisa Espinosa. Presentation. Thank you. Mr. Pardo, it's there, right? All right. All right, so let's see. All right, Mr. David Innocente Munguia. Present teacher. Thank you very much. All right, Neftali Medina. Nope, all right, no problem. There you go. Uh, Erling Castro. Thank you, teacher. All right, thank you. Irma is there. Thank you, Irma. Very good. Eh, Jose Daniel Castro. Jose, Jose. No, okay. Mr. Francisco Ordonez. Uh -huh. Yes, he's there. I can see that. All right, so. Carla Lopez. Present teacher. Mr. Cortez. Todavía de carro, Mr. Cortez. Maybe. All right. Mr. Gonzalez Moss, Luis Humberto. I'm here, teacher. Hello, thank you. Maria Castro. Present teacher. Thank you. Marta Castillo. Yes, she's here. Thank you, Marta. Uh, Mr. Ruano. Present teacher. There you go. Excellent. Nancy, yes. All right. Present. Oscar Giovanni Menjivar. Thank you. Oscar Giovanni Menjivar, yes, is there. Oscar Humberto Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you, Raúl Ramírez. Mm -mm, no está, okay, my friend, no problem. Mr. Raúl Ramírez. Sandra Escobar. Present teacher. Hello, Sandra. All right. Bye. Sonia Martínez. Yes. Present. Hello. Oh my goodness. All right. William Giovanni Laimes. Thank you. Oh my goodness. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Estamos ahí con todos los powers. Guardada. Lista. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, now let's check what you have sent there. And Elizabeth sent a picture. I'm sorry, and Elizabeth, okay, this is the picture. All right. All right. What does it say? Veamos. It says here, William, could you take this to the boss office? Yes. Would you mind reviewing the archive? Mm, me quedaría con el file. All right, la palabra file en lugar de archive, William. Could you print the report? Print out, como en el ejemplo del libro, very good. Would you, sorry, would you mind calling the customer? Excuse me, yes, very good. Then it says right here. 
Okay, got the image. Would you go this at the bus office? Mm -hmm. Creo que eh, Ana Elizabeth, all right, we need to check the, um, el verbo go. Remember that the verb go is ir. You know, llevar sería what? Carry, exactly. El verbo carry, que han usado aquí, for example, Erling o William, right? Carry. Eh, could you mind? Aha, remember that this one. No se les olvide, right? Que es, would you mind? All right. Con would, would, would. Exactly, exactly, right? So, would you mind checking the file? Lo demás está bien. Solo cambiamos el, el would or could en la segunda, Anita. Could you print the report? Is that correct? Could you mind calling the client? Lo mismo, would, right? Lo único, ahí lo demás está bien en la estructura. Thank you. So let's see this one. Nancy, could you carry this to the office? Correct. Would you mind checking the file? Exactly. Could you print out the report? Perfect. Would you mind calling the customer? That is correct. Well translated. Erling, would you mind to check? Mm -mm. What happens ahí? Después de would you mind, como el verbo, people? It's ing. Ing, exactly. Yes, I That's forgot it. All right. Carla, it says right here, could you take this to the office? Yeah, accepted. Very good. Would you mind reviewing this file? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say reviewing, but I would say checking. Pero yes, también es el verbo revisar. All right, so could you print the report? Yes, would you mind? Otra vez ese mind and the meal, all right? So be careful ahí, all right? So there you go, there you go. Corrector, teacher. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Marta says present. Ah, no, it's a different thing, Marta. All right. Let's see. That's basically like the whole thing right here. Quiero ver quién más ha mandado. Like this one. Thank you. Thank you lo que están participando activamente, right? So now let's just continue with the activity we have to do here. And it's going to be this one. All right. So then we're going to focus on the next activity that we have right here. Okay. Which is going to be the activity number three. Take a look. It's going to be this one right here. All right, and it says here, think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace. Compare your list with others, all right? So what are we going to do? We are going to actually eh, sacar una lista de cinco actividades o cinco tareas eh, por las cuales nosotros podemos pedir ayuda a nuestros compañeros de trabajo. So we're going to go and do this one here. All right, so thank you, Maria. I can see your answers here right now. Okay, excellent. So what are we going to do? We're going to work in couples in those breakup rooms para elaborar estas cinco requests. Les voy a dar un ejemplo que antes de mandarlos a la breakup room. So for example, eh, ¿qué sería algo que yo pudiera pedirle a mis compañeros? I, something I could ask to my co-workers. Mm -hmm. eh, ¿Me puedes prestar el teléfono. Ah, all right. So, ¿me puedes prestar el teléfono? ¿Te importaría prestarme el teléfono? How do you say that? Ajá. ¿Cómo se dice te importaría? Would you mind? Would you mind? Ajá, prestarme. Give, give. Mm -hmm. Eso es darme, ok, si lo decimos darme sería como giving me, pero, uh -uh. all right, so. Would you mind borrowing? Would you mind letting me the phone? All right, yeah, letting me to use, letting me use or letting me to use, let me use your phone, uh -huh. ¿cómo sería ahí? ¿Te importaría prestarme el Letting me, let me use. Ajá. Letting me. Like this one. So, will be. ¿Te importaría prestarme el teléfono? Uh -huh. Would you mind lending me the phone? All right. What is lending me, people? Ajá, porque ese lending es como dejarme usar. All right. Let me prestarme. use. Prestarme. Uh -huh. Prestarme, eso sería lend, ing. Lending me the phone or your phone. All right. Question. 
Would you mind lending me the phone? Importaría prestarme el teléfono. All right, so like that. Understand? Yes, entonces vamos a elaborar cinco de estas questions. All right, and uh, um, you know, work with your partner right here. So let's go to the breakout rooms. Oh, by the way, um, bueno, aquí no vamos a ocupar captura porque just la indicación ya está, pero in case you need it, I will send it to the group. All right. Breakout rooms, por favor, los que están clientes, traten de incorporarse siempre a los breakout rooms para que eh, podamos siempre participar. All right. There you go. The request has been sent. Please join the rooms. Please, 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 please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, let's see. Perfect, perfect. Let's see. Oh, Hello, Abner, Alexa, and Elizabeth. Oh, and Elizabeth, you didn't move? Mm. Es que me puso con Oscar, pero él está de oyente, entonces mejor les hago yo solo, porque no, no puede estar participando. Mm, all right, got it. So I can send you to a different team, Ana. ¿Cómo? La puedo mandar a otro grupo ahorita. Sí. All right. Where are you, Anna? Anna Elizabeth Melendez. All right. Move to room seven. All right. Here you go, Anna. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Questions, questions? Podría decir, would you buy me a lunch? Mm, you know what? No está mal, all right? Pero lo dejaría con el cool. Podrías. Ah, uh, uh, podrías. Mm -hmm. Would you buy me the lunch? Would you buy me a lunch, all right? Buy me a lunch, okay, podrías. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, yes, yes. Um, Anything else? Um, Marta, next. <laughs> um, Espérenme, que estoy inventando. <laughs> Me ver, podría, ¿no? Usted en la bodega me podría, me podría ¿Sí? ayudar en la bodega. No. ¿Podrías ayudarme en la bodega cuando me deja William? Podría. Right. Excellent. So, how do you say bodega? Warehouse. Exactly. So, ¿podrías ayudarme en la bodega? Would you, Would you help me? Would you help me? In the warehouse. In the warehouse, exactly. The warehouse. That is correct. La otra podrías ayudarme a levantar, no sé, una caja, no sé. Podría ser, eh, could you help me uh, to move the box, a mover la caja? Right? Ajá, Ajá, podrías ayudarme a mover. All right, I will go to a different group. If you have questions, let me know, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Can you meet me? Please. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Come on. Ya tenemos tres. Una cada uno. Tendría que ser quince. Ah, ah. <laughs> bien. Si quieres se las leemos y de ahí All nos right. dice si está right. bien. Perfect. Okay. The first and could you help me answer the phone? Could you help me answering the phone? All right. Mm -hmm. um, could you pass me the pencil, please? Can you pass the pencil? So I'll see, pass the pencil. Sing it, pass me, okay? Pass, ah, uh, okay. Could you pass the pencil? Mm -hmm. Okay. Y la última que tenemos es, could you help me open the door? All right, what was the last one? Could you? Okay, que si me podría ayudar a abrir la puerta. Va, good, excelente. Eh, solo una recommendation. Por lo que veo, de las tres, dos me están dando como, podrías ayudarme a, podrías ayudarme a, podrías ayudarme a. Entonces, Ajá. quitémosle el ayudarme a, que no está mal como para variarlo, you know, Ajá. y digamos de una sola vez lo que queremos que nos hagan. For example, en el de la puerta, en lugar de decir, podrías ayudarme a abrir Ajá. la puerta, quitémosle el ayudarme y... Could you open the door, please? Could you open? Uh -huh. Open the door. Uh -huh. For example. Okay. Puedo decirle una. Of course. Go ahead. Así, así como podrías abrir la puerta, por favor. Uh -huh. Could you open the door, please? For example. The door. All right. So, okay. me llaman de otro room. Si tienen alguna duda, ya regreso, ¿verdad? Right? Okay. ok, teacher. Entonces, para, para decir, entonces tendríamos Would you, would you mind calling the supervisor? Would you mind checking the computer? Would you help me send an email? Can you send the, the reports the manager? He will you may prepare the coffee. Yes. Yes. Solo me queda una duda con una del email. La tercera creo que es. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá. Nosotros Can también. It? Can you repeat it? Can you help me send a email? Email. Can you help me send the email. All right. Excellent. Eso está perfecto, no problem, all right? Lo que le explicaba, por ejemplo, a otro grupo 
era eh, que podemos variar el could you help me y de una sola vez decir qué es lo que quiero que hagan por mí. En lugar de decir, me podrías ayudar a enviar el correo. Podrías decir, podrías enviar el correo, you know? Could you send the email? Could you send? Exacto. Very good. All right. Ah, okay. so, para ir variando y no usar la misma estructura de siempre, could you help me? Y luego la acción, ¿verdad? Sí. Right. So, que de hecho no está malo, solamente es recomendación para que vayamos variando eso. All right, so para que no sea tan formal, teacher. Maybe no es que no tan formal, sino que como van a darme cinco preguntas, no quisiera que se escucharan repetitiva la estructura, right? sino que suene como que fuera algo diferente cada pregunta. All right? Ah, ok. Very good. All right. Aunque okay, claro, si lo puedo usar en una ocasión, no hay problema. There we go. Any other question? Este, cuando, cuando tenemos un verbo, el tú estaría de más. Ponerle, por ejemplo, could you help me to send an email? All right. En ese caso, could you help me to send the email? Está uh -huh. bien, porque hay dos verbos. Could you help me to? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Send the email. Pero si le quitamos el could you help me y le dejamos nada más, podrías enviar el correo, ahí ya no hay necesidad del to porque simplemente queda could you send the email, por ejemplo. Ok, pero digo, eh, así como, como lo, lo, lo teníamos en un principio, could you help me, ahí sí es necesario ponerle el to send. Exactly, porque son dos verbos y el segundo queda okay. en infinitivo. Correct. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Uh -huh. Any other question? Teacher, en la, en la que tenemos también, tenemos uh -huh. en la cuarta, cuando decimos, can you send the report, the manager. Uh -huh. Voy a repetir el da. Eh, the report, the manager. ¿Otra vez? Call you send the report, the manager. No, ahí sería to the manager. Tú, ¿verdad? Porque es al gerente. Sí. Uh -huh. Could you ah, okay. help me to send the report to the manager? El primer tú es por los verbos, ¿verdad? Que acabamos de explicarle. Y el segundo tú sí. sería por la preposición a. ¿A quién le voy a enviar eso? Right. Entonces, teacher, sería can you, can you send, can you lo borré, creo. Can you send the report to manager? Could you send the report to the manager? Yes, Nancy, así. Sí, Could verdad. You send ah, the okay. report to the manager. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. No problem. ¿Cómo se llevaría dos tú? En ese caso llevaría dos tú. Así como as I was saying before. El primer tú sería por que tengo dos verbos en una misma oración, o en este caso la misma pregunta. All right, so, could you please, or could you help me? Pero ahí creo que me faltó el primer verbo, Nancy, el help. ¿Se fijó? ¿En la que usted me mandó? Uh -huh, sí. Could you help me to send the report to the manager? Así pero y si no lleva el help me ahí no, no lleva entonces el primer tú. tú solo sería entonces could you send, send, the, report send the, the report manager, to the manager. Ah, sí. ok 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 en la que pusimos, would you mind calling the supervisor? Ahí no necesita poner el to. No, porque para el verbo call, all right, de llamar, no decimos call to someone, sino que decimos nada más call someone. For example, podemos decir, yo llamaré a mi mamá. I will call my mother. No dices to my mother. Simplemente va así. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Questions, questions? No? No. Excellent. So let's go back entonces to the main session para escuchar sus examples y los de los demás. All right. Okay.
Hey, oh, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right. So we are going to start listening to some examples. All right. So do we have any volunteer to share their examples, their questions? Volunteer, volunteer. Thank you. Hey, teacher. Hello, Maria. So first William and then Maria. All right. William, give me two examples only and then Maria, two examples more. All right. Okay, in uh, Grupo Isimo Cinco, question number one, would you mind calling the supervisor? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you, would you mind checking the computer? Okay. Number three, could you send an uh, email? Number four, could you send the report to the manager? There you go. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Now, William, just remember, we have to work with the pronunciation, all right? La pronunciación de cuáles sería ahí? Would. Repetamos, would. Would. Exactly, right? Okay. Es como una U más larga. Would. Would you mind? Okay. Repeat it. Okay. Would you mind? Exactly. Así muy bien. Ahora, repítame okay. ese ejemplo que lleva would you mind again. Okay. Would you mind calling the supervisor? Perfect. Would you Another mind one? checking the computer? Mm -hmm. Would yeah. you send an uh, email? Exactly. Would you send the uh, reports to the manager? Very good. Would you mind prepare, preparing the coffin? Perfect. Excellent, Giovanni. Thank you for applying the correction. Y buen trabajo corrigiendo la pronunciation. Good job. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Vamos con Maria and then with Anna. All right. So, Maria, go ahead. Okay. Could you lend me your car? Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Could you clean the office? Okay. And uh, the next one is could you send a report for our manager? Thank you. All right. And the next one? That's it. That's it. All right, thank you. That was actually good. Those were good examples. Thank you, thank you. Anna, it's your turn. Uh, could, you pray, could you pray this transfer for me? Mm, uh, pay the pagar? No, print. Thing, oh, print. print. All right. Print. Could you pay this transfer for me? All right. Uh, would you mind staying at board late? Mm -hmm. And could you help me open the door? Open the door. All right. Excellent. Thank you. That's it, Anita? Uh, finish. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Any other volunteer? Good job, Anna. Volunteer, volunteer. Yo voy a seguir con una que nos tocó en el grupo. All right. Anna Luisa, go ahead. Okay, could you help me ask where the phone? Uh, could you pass the pencil? The pass the pencil. Mm -hmm. And could uh, you serve the coffee? Could you serve the coffee? That was actually a very good one. All right, so thank you, thank you, thank you. So, those cositas, right? Remember, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Would repeat it. Would. Ajá, que no lleva G, sino que es como una U larga. Would. Would. Exactly. Okay. Very good job. Thank you. The demás, super good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any other volunteer? Veo ahí a Marta con el micrófono activado. Martita, hello. Hello. Volunteer. Sí. Este... Excellent. Go ahead. Could you buy lunch? Call, call you help me in the warehouse. Good. Uh -huh. Call you clean the office. All right, excellent. Just remember, thank you, the pronunciation, right? Could, más o menos like this one. Could, could you please? Could, could, could. Lo más parecido, could. All right, this one. Porque si decimos cold, nos queda como, como de frío, you know? But thank you, uh, Marta. That was actually a good job. Applause, people. Very good. Mr. Ordonez, you want to participate too? Hello, teacher. Eh, no sé si me escucha bien. Yes. Would you mean lending me your print? 
Would you mean never me again? Sorry for the interruption, Mr. Ordonez. Just remember, the pronunciation is going to be uh, mine. Would you mind? It's mine. Go ahead. Would you mean learning me different? Would you mind? Would you mind? Mine, me yes. Would, would you mind leaving uh, the car? Uh, could you change in the report? <laughs> no problem. Thank you. And thank you for applying. Just remember que practical the pronunciation of the word mine. Mine, mine, mine. Yes? Okay. Yes. Thank That's you. Good. All right. Excellent. So what about the rest here, people? Anybody else? Hey, Mauricio, thank you for being the volunteer. Please go ahead, my friend, tell me. Okay. You could make me coffee. Could you, excuse me, to... Re repeat? You could meet my coffee. Okay, let me stop you right here, All right? Remember, Mr. Ruano, que es una question. Y en las questions, lo primero va, eh, en este caso sería could. Cool. Ajá. Entonces, en lugar de you could the coffee, de you could make the coffee, sería could you. Could you make me coffee? There you go. Excellent. Continue, please. Okay. okay. Goal, you mean doing my homework? My homework. All right. Ah. <laughs> Finish. Oh, that's it? Just two yeah. examples. All right, okay. excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so super good, my friend. Good job. All right, thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else? No, 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 no. Excellent. Well, no problem. So it's time for you to practice some grammar, and I have here an exercise for you. Let me know when you can see the exercise, people, please. All right. Yes. Excellent. All right. Pay attention because in this exercise, yeah, of course, we are going to practice the topic, you know, about would you mind, but we are going to get some additional um, vocabulary, right? So, for example, it says right here, number one, it says, excuse me, would you mind? Y tenemos este verbo acá, put out, all right? Esto se llama un phrasal verb. ¿Ya han escuchado acerca de los phrasal verbs anteriormente? No. No. Ok, un phrasal verb es un verbo seguido de una preposición. All right. Y significa básicamente lo mismo que un verbo. Representan una acción. All right. So, ¿por qué se le llama eh, phrasal verbs? Porque es un verbo que sale a partir de una frase compuesta por un verbo y una preposición. All right. Eso es como información adicional, right? Pero ustedes deben entender que estas dos palabras tienen un solo significado las dos. All right. Representan un solo significado, que en este caso es una acción. Veamos. Si tú tienes acá, would you mind? Este es el verbo put out y luego tienes cigarette. ¿Qué es cigarette, people? Ajá. Uh -huh. Cigarrillo. Exactly. All right. ¿Qué crees que significa put out? Apagar. Exactly. All right. Entonces, put out, no lo podemos traducir las palabras por separado, sino que va una sola traducción. Entonces, how do you say, for example, te importaría apagar el cigarrillo? Siguiendo la estructura que acabamos de ver, would you mind? ¿Qué hay que poner con ING? Would putting, you mind putting out? Putting out, exactly. Algo muy importante de los phrasal verbs, lo que vamos de decir es que es un verbo y una preposición. Entonces, cuando tenemos que utilizar ING, nunca vamos a utilizar el ING en la preposición, que en este caso sería out, sino que simplemente lo vamos a dejar en el verbo. Como me lo acaban de decir, sería putting, ahí va el ING, ¿lo vieron? Y luego, out. Out. Exactly. So, igual like this one. Would you mind putting out your cigarette? It's non-smoking area here. 
So, like that one. Thank you. Questions? Preguntas ahorita acerca de esto? No? Are you sure? Va. Next one, next one. All right. Después le voy a hacer yo un examen de este vocabulary. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's see, let's see. All right. Hmm. Let's see this word right here, ladies and gentlemen. Super good. So we can practice with this one. Ma'am, put it, ma'am. Mama. Mama. <laughs> Ma oh, what is it? Ma'am. Ma'am. Como de madame. Like, de madame. Exactly. All right. Una forma muy, muy um, cortés de hablarle a una mujer, all right, que no conocemos, for example, all right? para no cometer el error en inglés de llamarle señora o señorita, porque no sabemos si está casada o no. We don't know if that person is married, so we prefer to say ma'am. Y ahí no importa si está married or not, no hay ningún problema con eso. ¿Understand? Teacher. Yes. Y yo, es una frase común decirles así. Ma'am, o sea, Lo yes. usan los americanos, no se oye raro si uno de repente lo usa. No. No, no, no. Like, for example, usted me está haciendo una question ahorita, right? Yo le puedo decir simplemente, yes, ma'am. All okay. right, so, like that. Very good. Excellent. Well, after that one, so we continue with the next one. She's going to be like, will you mind? Ya sabemos here. What will be the, the correct answer here? Opening. 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 Very good. Opening up your luggage. What's the meaning? Let's see if you remember, right? What's the meaning of luggage? Equipaje. Excellent. You remember it, all right? Luggage, equipaje. Very good. I need to look inside. Very good. Let's go for number three. It says right here, would you mind? Uh-huh. Postponing. Postponing. I will eliminate the E and then we add ING, all right? So postponing. Uy, postponing. All right, postponing the exam. All right, so and postpone. Do you understand what is postpone, people? Poner. Postponer. All right, or retrasar. Very good, excellent. So we can continue now with that number four. It's a question right here. It says like, would you mind if I use ah? Look at this one. Using. Using. Do you think actually? Eh, a eso quería ver con ese here. Hey, look at the structure right here. Miren aquí, sería. Would you mind opening? Aquí el verbo va de un solo, pero aquí I have. Would you mind if I? Mm -hmm. How would you say it? Would you add ing? Or would you actually eh, dejarlo normalito ahí? What would you do? Use. Mm -hmm. Would you mind if I use? Te importaría si uso uh -huh. tu teléfono para hacer una llamada. And what do you think? All right. So like this one. ¿Cuál sería la correct one? Use. Use. Like base form. Or use. ing. Use. use. All right. Use. Why? Pero es que miren, a ustedes el teacher les dijo que era con ing. Entonces, ¿por qué no? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ustedes dicen use, but why? <laughs> Tell me. No es con D, teacher. Ah. No. No, porque es, este, no estamos hablando de pasado, right? Entonces ahí there wouldn't be a problem. Porque en la anterior, por ejemplo, en la 3 le dice, te importaría posponer, pero ahí sería, te importaría si uso. Entonces, uso. Ahí, All right. Exactly. exactly, exactly. So the difference here is going to be que tengo acá la preposición if. All right, and then the subject, I. All right, if I used, ahí ya no aplicamos la regla del ING, porque no va directamente el verbo, sino que llevo ahí un sujeto de por medio. All right, so, yes, 
Understand? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. All right, exactly. All right, so, y debemos entender que la traducción es actually different. For example, in a number three, dice, te importaría posponer. Y en a number four, dice, te importaría si yo uso. All right, so, el teléfono. All right, which is different. All right, let's see number five. It says there, while, vamos a ver, people, do you remember the meaning of while? Mm -hmm. Mientras. Excellent, thank you. While we are away, would you mind if you, ajá, siguiendo la regla, sería take care or taking care? Take care. Take care, aplicando la misma regla que acabamos de usar. Very good, excellent. Questions? No? Que sigamos this. Okay, fine, no problem. Eh, aquí estamos más. All right, so let's see. All right, all right. Number six, it says, would you mind if I? Close. Close, exactly, right? Close and no closing. De nuevo, it's because of that, um, you know, one second here, the S1, the condition here. All right, excellent. Number seven, it says, would you mind? Close. Turning up. Yes. Turning up. Ahí se aplica turning up porque no tengo un sujeto entre el would you mind y el verbo, right? Entonces ahí, would you mind turning up? Aquí se sería ing. All right, excellent. Number eight, I can figure out. Oh my God, a new phrase right here, figure out. What is figure out, people? Figure out, figure out. Mm -hmm. Figurar. Figurar, mm, no. Any other? Averiguar. Yes, you know. Viene siendo uno de los significados, averiguar, ¿qué otro? Aclarar. Aclarar. Mm, uh -huh. A ver, otro, otro. Resolver. Resolver. Resolver mm. está después. ¿no? Puedo descifrar, descifrar. Por ahí viene. No puedo descifrar cómo resolver este problema. Uh -huh. That would be the correct translation. This one. Figure out cómo like encontrar la solución o descifrar cómo resolver este problema. That's actually better. All right. Would you mind helping? helping. Helping me, yes. Helping me, helping me, helping me. So you go with the helping me here. Helping me. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Number nine. Would you mind if I? See. I see. See. Yes. Very good. All right. So in it says number 10. I am not ready for my presentation yet. Would you mind if I? Present. Present. Next week. Excellent. Thank you very much, everybody. So, do you have questions about uh, este repaso que acabamos de hacer del Would you mind? Solo que ahí me queda claro el, el, lo que dijo lo último, teacher, cuando no se le pone el ING con el I, ¿cómo es? El, if. If, perdón. Right. Lo que sucede es esto, la regla que vimos al principio, at the beginning, all right, it said that eh, si tengo yo, would you mind, y justo después de would you mind, yo tengo un verbo, entonces ahí voy a utilizar ing. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo dirías eh, te importaría llamar al jefe? ¿Cómo es eso, Pipo? Hello. Would you mind calling the, the boss? The right. Entonces, en ese ejemplo, William, no hay un, ningún sujeto, ni yo, ni ella, ni él, nadie, entre el would you mind y el verbo llamar, call. 
Pero ¿qué pasa? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, ¿te importaría si Ana llama al jefe? How would you say that? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería, people? Would you, you mind if, if Anna calls the boss? If Anna calls the boss. Anna calls the boss. Exactly, like that one. Yes or no? All right, excellent. Yes. So, entonces, esa es la razón o la difference between, um, you know, cuando va con ING y cuando no lleva ING. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Mm -hmm. No questions? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. No, no, no. No questions? No, teacher. No? All right. Excellent. So, there you go. There you go. Excellent. So, let's see this one right here. Okay. Very good. Then, Vamos con un repaso más, and then we, fin we continue with the next activity here. This one, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be about the polite uh, request model birds, all right? So, grammaticalmente o grammatically, the topic is this one. So, el tema sería here, los model birds, all right? One second here. All right. So, it says... Okay, here is model verbs. Model, model, model verbs. Do you see it? Yes. All right. Yes, so, and then we're going to see this one. Aquí tenemos, like, you know, two, two um, let's say this one, two spaces. This one and this one right here. All right. So, and to answer this one, tenemos que escoger one of those questions that we have right here. All right, so in your opinion, what would be the correct answer for saying this one? Mm -hmm. It says, Marco, sería ahí, you will, would you please, or you can? You can. You can. Mm -hmm. Would you please? Would you please? Hey, would tenemos dos. You can and would you please? ¿Qué dicen los demás? Would you please? Would you please? Yes, yes, yes. Que se acabamos de ver, right? Para pedir algo eh, además. Eh, además, right? Remember que si vamos a hacer una petición, o sea, estamos haciendo una question, una pregunta, no podemos empezar con un sujeto como you, sino que tenemos que empezar con el auxiliar para la pregunta, which in this case is going to be would, all right? Y la respuesta que sería, yes, of course. Así como cuando pido volunteers. Yes, of course, teacher, no problem. All right, so that's it, this one right here. Vamos a ver si esta es la respuesta o nos equivocamos. I'm nervous, people. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right. Yes, it says right here, nos dice aquí el website, right? That this is a polite request, que es lo que estamos viendo, right? Una polite request. All right, excellent. So let's do this one. And then we click on OK. So let's go for the next one. <gasps> Two of six. All right, it says like, the student asks a question to the teacher. Um, the options are, may you help me? Could you help me? Could you please help me with my homework, please? ¿Cuál sería? Could you? Could you? Ah, pero aquí tenemos dos cool you. B. This one. B, B or C. B. 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 No, B. C. Oh, B. I heard like B and also C. And then, <laughs> what is it? B. 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 Entonces decimos que es la letter B. That one, right? Yes. Yes. 
es. Ya demandan aquí, yo no sé. All right. Yes, that is correct, all right. So, like this one. Esa también, remember, que puede ser, por ejemplo, Erling, al principio de la clase me utilizó este, and I said, yes, it's okay. All right. But eh, esa no puede ser porque ya lleva el please. Porque lleva please al final. Exacto. No puede tener doble please. All right. Así que nos vamos a quedar con esta. All right. So, yes. Vamos a ver here. And it goes on this one. With that number three. All right. Excellent. So you go on this one, take a look. It says, teacher, the space, and then explain this grammar to me again, please. Seria, you will, you may, could you? Could you? you. Okay. Why? Why, why, why? Exactly, estamos pidiendo algo, so estamos haciendo una question, entonces, That's the reason why we got this one. Digo yo, vale, let me see. Yes, great. All right. Yes or no, people? Y ahí estamos. Mm -hmm. All right. Vamos con la number four. Ahí tenemos de nuevo una doble respuesta, right? Excuse me. Remember que esta primera respuesta es para completar el espacio de A y después de la pleca es para completar el espacio de B, T, all right? So, let's see this one right here. It says here, can you show me? Can you show me again? O could you show me how to use this computer software? Y la respuesta sería, bueno, las dos primeras, I'll be glad to, I'll be glad to, I will happy to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A. B. A. B. A. 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 Oh my God, I hear A, B, C. <laughs> so what is it? A ver, in the chat, in the chat, in the chat. All right, say it. A, B, or C. Send your answer to the chat. People say C. Letter C. <laughs> say letter C. Letter C. Muy bien, excelente. Todo el mundo dice la letra C. ¿Será que está en lo correcto? Maybe is it correct or not? What do you think? Ok, vamos a select the letter C. Yo digo, bueno. Are you sure you don't want to change it? Yes. Bueno. You sure again? Yes, teacher. Yes. Y... Uh, uh, I will be happy to Exactamente vale, Te explico un poquito Ahorita nos fuimos por el cool Porque es el que hemos estado practicando Yes or no All right, so, Pero la clave aquí estaba En la respuesta del diálogo All right, So why Porque aquí decía I will happy Y como dice acá la respuesta Tuvo que haber sido, I would be happy. All right? Porque después de would necesito un verbo. Yo, ¿qué? Sería, estaría, comería. Right? Entonces acá por eso yo estaría feliz de. Entonces, lo que les quiero comentar acá es que sí se puede utilizar can para hacer una request. Aunque es más recomendable utilizar could porque, eh, you know, es más eh, cortés, you know? no es que quien sea algo incortés o, o informal, right? Simplemente que suena mejor, podrías que puedes, you know? All right, that's the only difference. But at the end it's the same. Now, de las dos respuestas que sobran, people, what would be the correct answer? A or B. Yes. Hey. Send it to the chat. Send it to the chat. Send it to the chat. Mm -hmm. Ajá, llevo una A, two A's, one B. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Va ganando letter A. And the rest? Oh my goodness, otra A. Mm -hmm. B, B, 
Empatado, people. What happens here? Necesitamos desempatar. Nancy, Ana, Elizabeth. Sonia dice B. Carla dice B. Ana Elizabeth dice A. Perdón, A dice Carla. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perdón, no la había visto bien. <laughs> All right, excellent. So, ¿qué es lo que sucede aquí? All right, so, tenemos una contraction en la respuesta. Yes. ¿Ya vieron esta contraction aquí? ¿Esa es una contraction de qué creen ustedes? Del pasado. I would. Mm. All right. Entonces, ¿qué sería? A or B. <laughs> oh, my God. Dice software. las letras en el chat. Dice B, B, B. A, B, 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 B. Vasca no la ve. Yes, it is correct. All right. ¿Por qué? Porque en, el, en, el, en la respuesta anterior nos dijo que no podíamos tener esto si no decía B aquí en medio. Right? Entonces aquí lo tiene, solo que está contractado. All right. Very good, very good. Excellent. So you know what? I'm, I'm yes. just teaching you this one. Se los muestro de esta manera para que vean que no hay una sola forma de responder o de hacer estas preguntas. Sino que actually we need to pay attention to see how we do it. All right. Entonces, ¿cuál era la novedad acá? Que podemos utilizar también can. All right. So el significado varía un poquito. It changes a little bit. How? Uh, because you're saying, for example, en lugar de podrías ayudarme, en este caso sería podrías mostrarme y lo cambiamos por un Puedes mostrarme, all right? So, not a big difference, pero sí hay una pequeñísima diferencia, all right, al final. Questions? Teacher, yes. siempre que lleve la I, el apóstrofe y la B es I could. De hecho, hay dos contracciones que se parecen en, en la I y la D. La primera es esta que ustedes tienen acá y la segunda sería eh, del I had en pasado. All right, que ese es para el pasado perfecto. Un tiempo gramatical que estamos todavía lejos de ver. All right, so, pero like you're going to check it out right now. Entonces, no se confundan, for example, híjole, ¿cómo voy a saber si estamos hablando de la, la primera o de la segunda? Don't worry. En los contextos siempre nos ayuda. Por ejemplo, estamos hablando de una request, no podría ser de ninguna manera. All right, este que tenemos aquí. All right, impossible. Because ese es para un tiempo gramatical específico. Y si estamos hablando, por ejemplo, de este tiempo gramatical, no tiene por qué tener que ver este aquí. All right, so, uh, very good. Questions? More questions? No? No problem. Let's continue with the next one. Ajá. This one, people. Do you can? May you? Can you? What do you think? Do you can? Do you can? Va. Dice aquí. Se dice William. Can you? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Can you? Can you? Sí. All right. See. Sí. Todo mundo. Ajá. The chat. To the chat. Everybody. To the chat. Ahí tengo una A, Mauricio. All right. Una C, va ganando la C. Ana C es A. Oh, All right, so. Empatado, empatado. C, A, C, A, C. Va ganando la C por uno. Come on, everybody, come on. La C va ganando por dos. All right, so. Dos de A. All right, so. Where are the A's? No A's? Va. Ganó la C. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Oh, el empatado aquí. Very good. Pero no, siempre ganó la C por uno. Yes, that is correct. That is absolutely correct. All right. So, lo acabamos de ver que podemos utilizar el can para hacer una request. All right. 
Fíjate que aunque el sistema nos hubiera dado una respuesta incorrecta, si hubiéramos seleccionado B, this one, may you photocopy this one, también hubiera estado correcto, porque en ese caso hubiéramos dicho podrías. Ambas acá están correctas. La que sí es imposible, that is correct, is this one right here, right? No, 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 no. Impossible. All right, so why is that one? Porque tenemos los model verbs. ¿Qué son los model verbs? For example, can, could, would, todos esos son model verbs. Y para hacer preguntas no necesitan otro auxiliar. All right, so solitos funcionan como auxiliares, right? Entonces para decir, eh, puedes ayudarme, no dices, do you can help me? Simplemente dices, can you help me? Like that. Understand? Yes. Excellent. All right. So now let's just delete all these things. All right. So we can continue here. The last one, the last one. All right. Charlotte, you cool? Will please you or will you please? A, B, or C. Tell me. Yes. Uh -huh. Read it, 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 read it. Yes. Veamos here. It says right here, C, 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 C. Excelente. Congratulations. Right? Todo el mundo de acuerdo en? Yes, that is correct. All right? It's a polite question. Nos sacamos 9.1, right? Because we're missing one. All right? So, but you were doing a very, very good job. Now, questions about this? Yes or no? Is it clear? All right, excellent. So we must have aprendido más. So we can go on this one right here, All right? There you go. Let's just continue with this one. All right, so, de nuevo, alguna question? ¿Qué ha quedado pendiente? Yes? Hello? Yes, yes, yes. No questions? No questions. Very good. No problem. All right. So let's see this one right here. So we can continue right now with the NASC activity here. So let's see this one. Oops. Computer issues right now. Look at Kalita wants to go to sleep. But not yet. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Oops, that's the wrong one. It's this one. Yay, that one. All right. There you go. Excellent. So we're going to go with this last activity right here. All right. So um, let's do this one right here. Vamos a crear nuestros propios un mini role play according to this one, right? So share a conversation. It says right here. So, for example, vamos a hacer vocabulary de cosas que podemos pedir en nuestro trabajo, que podemos pedir ayuda, right? So, ustedes hicieron unas questions, right? Hace un par de minutos de cómo pedir ayudas. Veamos, ¿qué, qué son esas activities? So, what are those actions that you guys eh, need help with? Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos la primera, which it says, make appointments. Aquí hacemos citas, right? So, ¿qué otro podemos utilizar aquí? ¿Para qué otra cosa podemos pedir ayuda? What else can we ask for help? Uh -huh. send, send an email. Send an email. Very good. So we're going to put it here. Send an email. There you Cleaning go. Cleaning department. Send an email. What else? Cleaning department. Cleaning department, ¿cómo sería ahí aplicada? 
Porque cleaning department no es la acción. Estamos buscando ver, verbs. Ajá. Podría ser quizás limpiar la oficina. Maybe. Uh, clean the office. Clean ah, very good. Room. Excellent. Ahí sería clean the office. Clean the office. All right. Excellent. Uh, what else? What else? Open the door. Excellent. Open the door. There you go. What else? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Check the computer. The what? Check the computer. Check. Okay, so let's see this. Check the PC. All right. Check the computer. What else? Answer the phone. All right. Answer the phone. That's fine. Answer the oops phone. Answer the phone. What else? Write a report. Write a report. All right. Write a report. Excellent. One more. Call the supervisor. Thank you. So we like this one. Call the soup. We're gonna save it like we're gonna um abbreviate it right here. So how will this be? Very simple. You know, un par de questions como de esta manera. Tenemos las acciones aquí. Ahora vamos a utilizar las preguntas. Si yo se las voy a hacer a alguien y esa persona me va a contestar de manera educada también. ¿Recuerda cuáles son las respuestas que podíamos dar? Yes. Aquí estaban, ¿ve? Oops. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Or sure, no problem. Or ahorita, right away. All right. So let's just continue with this one right here. And then we call. So, for example, Maria. Hello, Maria. Hello. Would you mind calling the supervisor? Of course, teacher. Thank you. Va, ahora Maria va a seleccionar a alguien y le va a hacer una question. Mm -hmm. Vaya Maria, the question. Uh, could you clean the office? Could you clean the office? ¿Para quién va esa question? Uh, Marta Marisol. Mm -hmm. Marta, could you please clean the office? ¿Cómo le responde Marta? Está Marta todavía, Pipo. Sí, está Marta, Marta. Hello, Marta. I guess, Maria, you have to select another person. Ana Elizabeth. Thank you. Repeat the question, Maria. Hello, teacher. Uh, would you clean the office? Mm -hmm. Right away. Thank you. Now you, Anna, ask the question to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Anna? Uh, right, right away? Yes. Ahora usted, Anna, pregúntele a, o haga otra question a otra persona. Mm -hmm. eh, a Marta, como no contestó. Marta Marisol. Um, could, could you send an email, please? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes, what? <laughs> yes, of course, Marta. Repeat it. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Excellent. Like that, All right? Yes, of course. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. Thank you, Marta. Ask the question a otra persona, to another person. Um, 
Quiero ver. Tiene varias mm. options. Ahí está Nancy, Carla, Mauricio. Sí, ahorita. <ríe> Ana Luisa. Uh -huh. Call, call, you let me you car. Ajá, ¿a quién? Um, quiero ver. Alexa. Alexa. Está Alexa aquí. No he venido. Ah, yes. Hello, Alexa. Ah, exponiendo oyentes andan ustedes aquí, ¿verdad? So, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Mauricio. Eh, um, it says here. Thank you, Marta. Marta le preguntó si podía okay. su carro. All right. ¿Qué le dice usted? Yes, of course. Que buena onda. You, you're very nice. All right. So let's see. Now we're going to just finish okay. this one right here. All right. So thank you. Eh, Mauricio, ¿cómo se terminamos? Ahora la última pregunta. ¿Alguien más aquí? Okay. Go, you check on the PC. PC. And DC. Ajá, PC. Ajá. Nancy. Okay. Sure, no problem. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So thank you guys for practicing with me tonight. All right. So you were doing a very good job. Solo voy a solicitarte, please, que terminemos like the class today eh, by sending your reactions to the self-assessment that we have right here. All right. Which is going to be this one. Now I can make polite requests at the workplace independently. Thumbs up with the cash and help. Remember, and only with help. You tell me through the chat, please. What is it? What is it? Thank you, William. Everybody else and your um, reactions there. Mauricio, thank you. Thank you, Ana Luisa. You got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary. Jose Francisco, thank you very much. David, very good job. Thank you so much. Carla Milena, very good. Excellent. Thank you. I got the rest. And Elizabeth, thank you very much. So guys, vamos a detenernos hasta acá. We're going to stop right here. If you need help, o si ustedes quieren que les comparta mayor información, Por favor, recuérdenme en el grupo. So I can check it immediately here y mandaré la información que ustedes necesiten. So I can send the information you need. All right? Excellent. Thank you very much, everybody, for being here tonight. I will see you tomorrow. No se les olvide el examen. All right. So, mira, hasta luego. So, please see you tomorrow. Please, please, bye. Bye, bye. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. Bye, class. Bye, bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, Abner. Bye, Sandra. Have a wonderful night. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow.